All of these hormones are designed to release fat stores to give more glucose. To explain how this works, I'll give you a story. This story is about a community nurse. Community nurses go and visit people in their homes to help shower or administer medications. This community nurse is in her mid-40s. She's carrying a bit of extra weight, so the day before she decided to go on a weight loss diet, she had an apple for breakfast and a cup of coffee with skim milk and three teaspoons of sugar. Got that? Mid-morning, she's dropping another cup of coffee with three teaspoons of sugar and skim milk. Lunchtime, she grabs a quick sandwich, no fat. You know this no fat mentality, want to lose weight. Gets a bread that's no fat, has a cup of coffee with three teaspoons of sugar and skim milk. By mid-afternoon, she's dropping. Mid-afternoon, she has the other pep up with the coffee. By the end of the day, I ask you, what is her appetite like? Huge. Did you know that it's the strongest urge in the human body? You talk to anyone that was in the wars or anyone who has not eaten for a long time, they will do anything. We hear really tragic stories. There's, I don't know whether you've ever read the story of the fall of Jerusalem. Years they were besieged. And when the Roman army came in, they found that parents had eaten their children. Now, we're horrified at that. We don't know. <laughs> that, that urge, that hungeth urge, I don't think many people even know it. <laughs> Not today. We're so well fed. Many people like this lady, though, on the weight loss diet, by the end of the day, it's just massive. You know the saying we've got in Australia, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. You know, th that huge hunger. She's driving home. You see, blood glucose levels are dropping. This isn't really working. And she actually sees the pizza hut. She can have that pizza in her mouth in minutes. She goes and she's so hungry she gets the biggest and she thinks, oh, I might eat half tonight and half tomorrow. Tragic, isn't it? On the way home, in the back of her mind, there's this nagging thought that she's broken a diet. She's going to feel guilty. I'll grab a movie and get lost in a movie for a couple of hours. And oh, there's a bar of chocolate there. I'll just have a square. She goes home. Oops, the whole pizza goes. The movie's on, and do you know that when a person is lost in a movie, their frontal lobe is bypassed? And you'll find by the end of the movie, the person, oops, has eaten all the pizza, oops, the, the whole block of chocolate's gone. But you know, the movie ends, doesn't it? And you're again whew, faced with it. She, she doesn't feel sleepy with all that caffeine from the chocolate and the stomach going berserk. I'll have a couple of um, bourbons and Cokes. That'll knock her out, she says. She sleeps. How does that lady feel when she wakes up in the morning? <sighs> what does she do to pick herself up? Does it every time. More coffee and sugar. Weight loss diet today. I'll just have a cup of coffee and half an apple for breakfast this morning. Has a shower, puts her face on put some new earrings on, it'll give her a little bit of a lift. She's in the car, it's a little bit further than she thought. Out back Australia, no country towns for a while, she starts to drop. Blood glucose starts to drop after that initial pump up. She reaches for her lollies, her candies, oh no, the packet's empty. She reaches for her Coke. Oh, no, she did the last tin yesterday. Now, normally, when she was getting low, she'd buy more. But at the end of the day, the day before, frontal lobe wasn't even working because hunger had just taken over everything. What's happening inside of her body? 